Good morning on this Wednesday. Looking forward to uh, some more sunshine. Later yeah, today. yesterday was absolutely mm -hmm. gorgeous with all that sunshine, but uh, Aaron, we are getting colder. Yeah, we're seeing those temperatures steadily drop here over the next week or so. In fact, uh, looking at the temperature trend since the beginning of the year, this is our eighth month uh, where we're seeing temperatures remaining below average. Of course, we're only three days into the month of October, uh, but the trend for the month as a whole is a bit on the cooler side. And uh, we've only seen January and August uh, being those uh, two months where we did see temperatures remaining uh, above average. Of course, the warmest was January when we saw temperatures remaining uh, nearly seven degrees above average. Average. average temperature for this year sitting right at uh, 40.9 degrees. And of course, we are expected to see some colder weather uh, through the rest of this month. 31 is what it feels like currently in Anchorage, 22 in Fairbanks. Uh, feels like 5 degrees in Anaktuvik, 21 in Unalakleet, and 22 degrees uh, as you head out towards Kotzebue. Meanwhile, for the Aleutians as well as uh, southeast, not much in the way of wind chills, but uh, starting off the morning with a mild to cool conditions uh, for parts of the Panhandle uh, and the Aleutians. Today, we will return back into the mid to upper 40s across south central. Uh, there is an isolated chance we could see some coastal regions make a run near 50. Uh, winds will also increase more so towards the late afternoon and evening hours as we begin to see that area of low pressure approach the Aleutians and that rain gradually build back into south central. Of course, that rain really not set to arrive until we welcome in our Thursday. As of this morning, uh, still holding on to those uh, that ridge of high pressure that's uh, greatly influencing the weather across the state, leading to clear skies for many. Uh, we are seeing some areas of fog uh, for southeast as well as through the interior and some AM snow, if not a wintry mix, out towards uh, southern parts of the Seward Peninsula. But here's the low pressure that we're watching that is going to move off towards uh, the eastern Aleutians as we welcome in your uh, Thursday, but we're seeing the core of the rain building into the Gulf of Alaska. Uh, rain already beginning to build in across parts of southeast. And then uh, for Kodiak Island, you'll see that later today uh, with some heavy rain expected by tonight. The rest of south central will see that rain arrive as we welcome in your Thursday. So we've got two areas of low pressure, one just to the south of the Aleutians, and then another as you head just to the northwest of uh, Adak, or really north of Shimya. And you can see that's bringing some uh, breezy, if not gusty conditions. Winds gusting anywhere from 25 uh, to 45 miles per hour. Uh, we will see a gradual increase in uh, winds as we begin to see this uh, warm front or this frontal system beginning to lift northward. This is actually going to lead to some warmer temperatures uh, as we welcome in our Friday. We're talking about highs warming back into the lower 50s, likely our last possible day of seeing 50s before cooler weather. Uh, does uh, really build back into the region. So rain building in uh, across Kodiak Island later today, and then you can see uh, across South Central into our Thursday and Friday, we're going to see that rain uh, building back into the region. Uh, heaviest rain for Southeast will be the Northern Inner Channels, and we'll also see some areas of wintry mix across South Central, more so along the Seward Highway, uh, out on the Kenai, out towards the Copper River Basin, your typical areas that uh, manage to see that uh, wintry mix as well as snow showers. So for today, we'll see uh, temperatures in the upper 40s and lower 50s across southeast with rain making a return. Uh, heavy rain for Kodiak with up to an inch and a half into the evening. 48 in Homer, 49 degrees in Seward. You can see breezy conditions uh, will build into south central into the afternoon and evening hours. Uh, cool through the Copper River Basin with temperatures in the mid 30s. We got the mid to upper 40s through the valley uh, with winds increasing as well. And then again, we're expected to see warmer conditions into our Friday with a temperature of 51 degrees. That chance for shower stays with us. We dry out this weekend. Take a peep at Tuesday. 39 degrees for our highs. And yes, that says a chance for a wintry mix. Yep, get chilly out there. Mm, it is.